<laughs> hey everyone, welcome back or to my channel. My name is Jen and thank you so much for pressing on the video today. We are currently looking at the speed build version of um, the house that I built for our Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge founder, Daisy May. Uh, disclaimer here, I am not a builder. I don't build in the sim ever. I If I do build, I take someone else's build and I just kind of like interior design it if that makes sense and even then there are so much more better creators and players that are better than me at that so please do not judge please refrain from saying this looks like trash in the comments please um but i am always open for suggestions that you might want to add later on uh in the comments so by all means do give me those but please refrain from being rude in the comments thank you very much but um i really liked how this build turned out because I did three variants of this build. I like filmed three separate videos uh, trying to figure out which way worked best. And this one turned out to be the better one because this was the only build that didn't require me to do money cheats to do the exterior. Like I would go ham in on the interior and then when it came to the extra, I had like 15 bucks left. You know what I mean? So I'm pretty happy the way that that turned out to where I didn't have to um, do like money cheats because you're not supposed to, if that makes sense. I really love uh, the idea of doing a more orangey reddish roof. And then the wallpaper that you see on the exterior will be changed. It will be changed to more of a blue tint. Um, I did look up on Pinterest. Uh, how do you do <laughs> suburban homes? And that was pretty stupid of me because I've lived in suburban homes all my life. So I didn't realize. Uh, well, I don't know how I didn't realize that. But... Um, well, yeah, that's what I did. I'm pretty embarrassed about that. I don't do landscaping either. So when you start seeing me add these trees, they're going to look weird and out of place. But I do try my best. Like I didn't, I didn't like just put stuff everywhere. If that makes sense. Like in my mind, I kind of wanted it to look uniform and neat in a way. But it probably doesn't turn out that way because of the shed that I added in the back. But you know, that's fine. Um, it's more for, what's the word? Uh, it's more function than cuteness, I guess. <laughs> Hello? But yeah, you can see me trying to do a little bit of the landscaping. And I love the idea that I had uh, to put the stairs like out one instead of like right on top of the foundation because then it gives it that feel like there is a foundation there if that makes sense so that I'm not cheating technically because it's not an extra tile I still did it within the 32 limit of the micro home so yeah I think I did pretty well um when you see the interior I tried my best with the very limited space that I did have but I love the fact that I made it so much better bigger and more roomy than all the other builds like all the other builds and me watching other uh builders build like micro homes they all have very small bathrooms to make up for the big kitchen or like the spacious bathroom that they are not the bathroom i'm sorry the um the bedroom that they get but i wanted to have a good spacious bathroom because I hate using cramped bathrooms. Like, I hate that feeling. So I hate that in The Sims, too. Does that make sense? That's why I kind of, like, let that bathroom be open and big a little bit. It's, I mean, it's not Kim Kardashian style uh, big, but it's pretty big. And I love the way that I did add some greenery in this house. I did remember that um, this challenge, you're supposed to be like a plant parent or something like you're supposed to have like a whole bunch of um greeneries i didn't add much because i didn't want to waste too much money because i kind of want our sim to start collecting as we go but i did add a lot of plants around the house as much as i could technically so i'm pretty excited about that another thing that i'm excited about is the tv i've never built uh, or like place the TV like that before. Like it doesn't it doesn't make sense when you walk into the house while the TV's backwards, but 
it makes sense to me because I would be laying in bed and watching TV. So that's kind of cute. Uh, I now just now realize that the kitchen does not have a sink. So that's pretty... That's a bummer. But you know what? It's fine. It's too late. I can't go back to change it anymore. So it's too late. And with that, I think I'll be leaving you guys here because um, I'm running out of things to talk about. And this is my first um, ever Let's Build. So please, like I put the disclaimer in the beginning, please refrain from saying anything negative. I am always open to suggestions and your critiques, but please try not to be too negative because I don't build. I am not a builder. So yeah. Thank you so much and I hope you enjoyed the video. I will be seeing you guys in episode... I think it will be episode 4. Because I'm going to go film it right now. So yeah, I think it's episode 4. So I'll see you guys then. Bye!